how could you build trust to a new e-commerce site and sort of what factors in a person's mind deliver this sort of sense of trust when it comes to actually making a conversion? That's a great question. There are quite a few things that can help to build trust, especially early on if you may not have any social proof or reviews working in your favor that can help to improve the conversion rate from your e-commerce site. Now, the first one is to have as much contact information on your site as possible. And I'm not just talking about an email address. Things like a, a phone number that people can call and a physical address actually listed on your page can work wonders because people want to know your real business, right? They want to make sure that if they have an issue, they can get in contact with you. The other thing I highly recommend uh, at least considering is live chat. And live chat is wonderful because even if, even when people don't use it, and this is based off of data from others that are also my own split tests, even when people don't use the live chat, the fact that they can see that it's there has helped to um, kind of make people feel more comfortable with the purchase, show people you're actually still in business, working on the site, you're there for support if they need you. So enabling live chat on your website can definitely help uh, with conversions right away. Um, I took notes on this one too, just because I want to make sure I hit all these main points. Okay, if you don't have live chat, again, people want to know that you're still there. You're going to actually process their order. Um, the site's still being worked on. You're still in business. So one thing you can do is publish content outside of your website somewhere that ha has timestamps. So for example, this can be a, com a company blog, which I, I just said it's not on the website, but I actually meant just somewhere that's not on the e-commerce store itself. Uh, publish a blog with a timestamp or uh, show that you're still working on the site. Another thing too is social media pages. Um, people may click on those to see if there's any recent posts being done and if the last post made on the pages was two years ago or something. That can really uh, make people uncomfortable that you may not have actually visited your own website in two years. And this is based off data too, um, both from other people but also from things like heat maps and uh, browser recordings and whatnot showing people do go and click on social links to see when the last post was before actually making a sale. Um, the third thing is to include trust badges from, uh, I th there's a bunch of like antivirus companies that offer them. Now, as someone that's experienced in e-commerce, you know, obviously uh, some people like us see right through that. We know that anybody can just throw this up, but uh, people do find trust that, that like the consumers, the actual end market does find that uh, trustworthy and has been shown to improve conversions. Um, next thing is to, is to make all of your policies clear. Remember when you, when it comes to conversion, you're trying to eliminate sort of all the, the hidden doubts and objections people might be wondering that could be hurting the sale. So making things clear um, regarding your policies on things such as like refunds or returns, you know, who's responsible for uh, paying the shipping back how long are people eligible for return? How is that carried out? Making that super clear right in front of people so when they think about it, they can find the answer in seconds. That's super important. And that's, that's another thing uh, that live chat can help with too, is you can collect data on what people, what's stopping people from buying. If people ask a question through live chat, there's more people that wouldn't have taken the time to ask that question they would have just bounced. So by enabling live chat on your site, you're able to know straight hand like what people's objections are, what they're wondering about, what's hurting the sale. So not to not to make this video all about live chat or anything, but it just has so many hidden benefits there that I think it's worth uh, worth trying out. Um, the next thing to do is to enable reviews, even if you don't have any. Now, some people may think that this may hurt sales because well, people wonder, hmm, if it, is anybody actually buying anything here? Um, and while that may be, may be true in some cases, it will also hurt sales if people feel like there's no opportunity for them to share their honest opinion on your own site. If you don't, listen, reviews are standard now. Every e-commerce site has them. So if you don't, people may wonder if you have something to hide, if there's some hidden issue with your product that you don't want other people to know about. So that's why I always recommend uh, leaving reviews on even if you don't have any initial customers right now. Um, let me just look at my note here because I found this interesting. Yes, it says, uh, Spiegel Research Center has reported that Splend reviews can increase conversions by up to 270%. So I thought that was uh, very interesting. 
Okay, the next thing is to geotarget your uh, your site when possible, and this means showing different version of your site to people in different areas of the world. For example, if if you ship internationally, it's really a great thing if you can show your prices in that country's currency. You know, if if you're if you're um, if you're based in the U.S., but you also ship to Canada, if you can set up software on your site to show Canadian dollar prices to visitors in Canada, and this really isn't that difficult to do. That can definitely help conversions and then show people that you do ship to that country. Because I've had people on my own site, especially when I was just starting out, think I didn't ship to their country when in fact I've shipped plenty of orders to their country. But it's, you know, obviously completely my fault that I didn't make it obvious that we do ship internationally. So make uh, make sure to, to do that if international customers are something that's important to you. Final thing I have right now is to collaborate with other people. Um... Obviously, full-blown collaborations with other companies or other uh, influencers are best. But even just doing some sort of influencer marketing uh, campaign can really help because when you when you're just starting out and you have no reviews, nobody's saying anything. This sends a negative psychological signal to people's mind, not a positive one. So if you can get some of these sort of initial, initial good. Not, not reviews, but people saying nice things about your products, these initial thoughts, these initial opinions that you could then work with and display on your own site. That works wonders for uh, boosting conversions early on. And also in the case of influencer marketing deals, people already, like that influencer's audience already knows them, already likes them, already trusts their opinion. So in that case, it really doesn't matter that you're unknown and untrusted. If the influencer is trusted and they recommend your products, their audience is going to trust their recommendation regardless. So these are a few trust factors worth considering. Um, take some time to implement some of these on your site if you haven't already. If you got even one, th one piece of valuable information on this video, I'd really appreciate a like. And of course, um, if, if you're interested in more business tips, I do sell a bunch of business courses on my site. I also have a blog that posts super valuable in-depth content once a week. I highly recommend checking out. Thanks, and if you have any questions about e-commerce or anything else in general, just let me know.